Transport in Haiti All of the major transportation systems in Haiti are located near or run through the capital, Port-au-Prince. Haiti's network of roads consists of national roads, department roads, and county roads. The hub of the road network is located at the old airport, at the intersection off Boulevard Jean-Jacques Dessalines and Autoroute de Delmas. From this intersection, Route Nationale No. 1 and Route Nationale No. 2 commence. Maintenance for RN1 and RN2 lapsed after the 1991 coup, prompting the World Bank to loan 50 million U.S. dollars that was designated for road repairs. The project was cancelled in January 1999. The World Bank, who reasoned that the cancellation of those projects would ruin Haiti's road infrastructure progress, created the Fair, Fond de Trichet in 2003. This was a way to cut down corruption, get local companies involved, and in restraining any stopping offs projects because of political instability or protests. President Rene Prevel, on his campaign for his second term, vowed on his mailages Rudy Ye to rebuild the majority of these roads that had disintegrated rapidly and build new ones that would enable the country to move forward. When he wasn't able to get the funds from the World Bank, he pleaded to the international donors for assistance, which was heavily criticized by many politicians in the media but was greatly embraced by a population desperate to see road infrastructure development come to their towns. Therefore, the European Union pledged to help build RN6, then RN3. In the meantime, the World Bank loaned Haiti 200 million US dollars to rebuild RN2, from River Forward, which is the starting point of RN2, all the way to Akan and repair RN1 from Titan 9 to Cap Ision. The hurricane season of 2008 was a major setback in development since many bridges in multiple areas had either collapsed or suffered extensive damage and was in immediate need of repair. Most of those work on RN1 and RN2, that were already halted, suffered a major setback during the earthquake of January 12, 2010. For the construction of RN7, Canada pledged US$75 million US dollars and the IDB US$31 million US dollars for the construction of RN7, which started in 2009. It, too, suffered major setbacks because of the January 12th earthquake. The public transportation is mostly privately owned in Haiti, previously it was an individual business, with a new generation of entrepreneurs, it is mainly association. The most common form of public transportation in Haiti is the use of brightly painted pickup trucks as taxis called tap-taps. They are named this because when a passenger needs to be let off they use their coin money to tap the side of the vehicle and the driver usually stops. Most tap taps are fairly priced at around 10 to 15 gourds per ride within a city. The catch to the price is that the driver will often fill a truck to maximum capacity, which is nearly 20 to 30 people. The government in an effort to structure the public transportation has attempted several times to bring bus, in around 1979. It was the bus called Canatra a contract between the government and association of driver which quickly failed because of sabotage from different factor and poor maintenance. In 1998 another attempt was made with the service plus and Dignite for student and teacher. Sabotage, poor maintenance and the overthrow of Ari State in 2004 had severely undermined the effort. In 2006 at the return of Preval in power another effort was made to recover the majority of the bus left and a gift of 300 new bus from Taiwan an effort to bring back service plus an association of the drivers. Minivans are frequently used to cover towns close to Port-au-Prince, such as Pep Yonville, Jacques Mel, Leogan and others. Today throughout the island, motorcycles are widely used as a form of taxi. The port at Port-au-Prince, Port International The Port-au-Prince, has more registered shipping than any of the over one dozen other ports in the country. Its facilities include cranes, large berths, and warehouses, but these facilities are in universally poor shape. The port is underused, possibly due to the substantial I higher port fees compared to ports in the Dominican Republic. The port of San Marc is currently the preferred port of entry for consumer goods entering Haiti. Reasons for this may include its location away from volatile and congested Port-au-Prince, as well as its central location relative to a large number of Haitian cities, including cap Ision, Carrefour, Delmas, Desarmes, Fauparision, Fort Liberté, Ganaive, Hinch, Artibonite, Limbe, Petionville, Port de Pay, and Bretz. These cities, together with their surrounding areas, contain about 6 million of Haiti's 8 million people. The islands of Ilavash, Ile de la Tertoit, Petit, and Grand Cayemite, Grosaki, and Ile de la Gonave are reachable only by ferry or small sailing boat, except for Ile de la Gonave, which has an airstrip that is rarely used. 
The majority of towns near the coast of Haiti are also accessible primarily by small sailing boats. Such boats are usually cheaper and more available than is public ground transportation, which is commonly limited to trucks loaded with merchandise and passengers on market days. 150 kilometers navigable. None, 1999 est. Capicion, Canaive, Jacmel, Jeremy, Lake Hayes, Miraguan, Port au Prince, Port de Pay, Saint Marc, Fort Liberté. Haiti has one of the oldest maritime histories in the Americas. The Panama Canal Railway Company ran a shipping line with three ocean liners that traveled between New York City, USA, Port au Prince, Haiti, Cristobal, Panama. The company had facilities in Port au Prince and their ocean liners stopped there. It has not had any known railroad operations in Haiti. The three ocean liners were International Flights, Toussaint Louverture International Airport, formerly known as Port au Prince International Airport, which opened in 1965, as Francois de Valier International Airport, is located 10 kilometers north slash northeast of Port au Prince. It is Haiti's only jetway, and as such, handles the vast majority of the country's international flights. Air ID, Tropical Airways and a handful of major airlines from Europe, the Caribbean, and the Americas serve the airport. Domestic flights, are available through Sunrise Airways which is Haiti's largest airline for the general public offering scheduled, as well as, charter flights. Another domestic company is, Mission Aviation Fellowship Catering to Non-Catholic Registered Christians. 14. 2007 est. Railroads ran in Haiti between 1876 and 1991. Haiti was the first country in the Caribbean with a railway system, in the urban area of Port-au-Prince and latter a project that was supposed to be run by the McDonald Company from Port-au-Prince to cap Ision, and from Port-au-Prince to Lake Hayes, however it was not completed. Most of the disoperation of the railroad in Haiti is due to bankruptcy and closure of the company who supported the construction of the railroad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.